upselling is a key to success to any salesperson out there. Your number one goal in, in working with any customer is to gain as much of their wallet share as you possibly can with your products and services. I and mean, that's what we do this for. So upselling cloud allows for a totally different approach when, when you start to, when you compare it to selling voice and data. So what we're going to talk about here real quick is the IT pie spend, right? So this is going to be your IT spend. And you know this is made up of all different kinds of pieces of this pie. And budgets are different for all folks. But traditionally, we look at voice and data services, which are what a lot of folks are selling here today. Voice and data is going to make up anywhere from 10 to 20% of this overall pie. And this is really dependent on the size of the organization. If you've got, you know, a mom and pop small little business, that that's probably going to make up the bigger piece, maybe even maybe even a little plus, right? Uh, if you go into enterprise size customers, you know, big buildings, you know, it's going to be voice and data spend is certainly going to be a smaller percentage of that pie. It's going to be a lot lower. What we need to look at is if, we, if we're looking at this pie and we say to ourselves, this is my current customer and they're spending, you know, about $1,500, about $1,000 with me a month. You know, they're a couple hundred people, they're a hundred people, they have a thousand dollars spend on voice and data with me a month. You can assume that that's probably going to be somewhere around that 15%. Let's make the easy math. Let's call it 10%. So there's another $10,000 worth of wallet share that's available for you to get in there and sell when you're selling IT services. If we think about this, whenever we're going to be selling, we want to, we want to think about how are we going to go in there and do an upsell? So it could be something like we've sold this customer, you know, hosted exchange, email, that single workload that they've bought from us today. Well, that leaves a whole bunch of other services out there available for us to pick up and earn this customer's business. So a lot like the voice and data pie, if I take email over here and I look at, you know, my IaaS spend, email is probably 10% of this, right? So I've got 90% more of IaaS I can pick up. And we call this strategy land and expand. Um, this is where we are going in and we're selling the customer a single product set and then we're working with them, gaining credibility, earning their trust, and we come back in and we start picking up other products along with them today. So my, my land and expand is, you know, it's an awesome way to think about going in and starting out with a single product, and then we're picking up multiple products, multiple workloads for these customers. So when we're doing this with regards to IT, you understand the spend, you understand the availability. Two more key factors that you have to think about. One of those is how sticky is my customer, right? How sticky are they today with me and my, and my services? If I only have for this customer voice and data services, that's a pretty big commodity, guys, and it's pretty easy to get it moved away to somebody else when the contract is up. But the more of these products and services that I can bring into play, the stickier this customer gets. And when I've got all of their IT, I am in a very, very good spot for them not to leave me. Final piece that you got to remember, all of what we're doing is in the cloud, right? And what do we need to get to the cloud? To the customer, we need bandwidth. And when we start selling the customer services, this bandwidth typically is going to increase from what they have today, and they may even need additional pipes to come in and bring more bandwidth in for these customers. So you can actually think about this as a pull-through sell for, for bandwidth when we're selling them more cloud services. Hopefully this has gotten a good, got you thinking about upselling some of your current customers and some prospects about how you can get in and start the process and then sell them more services. Thank you.